So maybe we'll open it up here. I think we should. We're right. on a little bit more of an open road. All right, I got it in Sport That's, Plus, so. All right. Well, Ryan, we have a gorgeous day to be cruising around in this GLE 53 Coupe. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about this car and how this model is different than its uh, predecessor. So the one previously was the GLE 43, um, a little bit different um, engine size from a horsepower standpoint than the 53 that they came out with. Um, they just took what they had that they sold really, really well, was a top three seller for them. Um, in the past couple, two or three years, and they just modified it, listened to their consumers, and just made it that much better. Right when you get into the vehicle, you literally feel like you're in a cockpit, like the seat is wrapping around your sides, even on the side of your legs as well, so. It's, it's true, which does give it that sporty feel. And I told you, it's like the car knew I needed a hug after being in quarantine <laughs> for a long time. Right? Like, just hold me. Right? You can actually get the massage feature in a lot of these with the uh, multi-contoured seating. So the side bolsters will actually push you back into the seat. You pick which different massage, you know, it's luxury at its best. If you're being massaged and you start to get a little like sleepy, if you run off the road, <laughs> does it tell you like, eh, no, get back on the road? Does yeah. Kind of, like, self-drive a little bit? You got the active lane keep assist and active <laughs> blind spot assist in here. What else? You've got, uh, the attention assist, so yeah, actually a coffee mug will come up on the mid screen if it'll let you know, hey, you're getting drowsy at the wheel and whatnot. When you are on the open road or whether, you know, you're on the highway, it doesn't matter. You know, you can kick it into, um, you know, one of the buttons down here, which is called dynamic select. And in that dynamic select button, it allows you to put it different um, driving modes. Like for instance, right now, you know, Show me what you you're got. an individual, you know, slippery, trail, and sand. The trail and the sand modes are actually two new modes that they put in for the 53, which is pretty cool. There are a lot of people are, are coming around now, seeing these vehicles out there and actually driving them and seeing the performance that they can do. They're like, wait, okay, so Mercedes isn't just luxury, right? It's, yeah. it's you know, the performance aspect of it. But what's really cool with the 43 and 53 models is that you get the best of both worlds, right? So you have, you have, hey, I want to kick it into Sport Plus mode and test out this, you know, 429 horsepower. Or, hey, I got my family in the back and we're on the way to a tournament and I'm going to have it in comfort mode, right? And, you know, it could be a little quieter. It can be a little louder. So it just depends. And safety features right there. There you go. Exactly. You're getting a little too close <laughs> to that convertible a little close, in front of you. Right? <laughs> So maybe we'll open it up here. I think we should. We're right. on a little bit more of an open road. All right, I got it in Sport That's, Plus, so. All right. All right, so but it's you, got a little kick in it you, there. It's very smooth. Obviously, you know Mercedes is known for that. But yeah, I mean, the performance side of it, you, it, it doesn't get much better than that. Hey, Mercedes. What can I do for you? Turn on passenger heated seating. I'm switching on the seat heating. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? I would like a million dollars. In order to use online functions. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. So they can't deliver. Mercedes, cancel. 